Uh, let me tell you about Lucy. Lucy is the first name of Lucy Diggs Slow. Was not the reason why we selected the name, but yes, this machine will in fact dig slowly. But Lucy Diggs Slow is a founder of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, one of the most important female uh, African-American uh, sororities in the United States. She was also one of the first African-American woman to win a, a American Tennis Association tennis tournament in 1917. She founded Shaw Junior High School and was its first principal. She was the dean of women at Howard University and created the woman's school, the women's school at Howard. So she just was a remarkable Washington, D.C. resident but like Washington, D.C., doing things that matter to this city, but had a stage of the whole nation and even the world. So we are delighted to name our new machine, Lucy. Tom Sherwood asked me right before we started my thoughts about machinery of this sort, and I can't, uh, I hope, join you in being impressed by it, but I also see cost. This is a tremendously expensive project, and it is being borne by our ratepayers. And so it is the city, all of the ratepayers, who are contributing to the funds that are allowing us to solve this problem in this neighborhood. And I think everything DC Water does, you'll hear from our board chair uh, just a moment in the program, goes back to making sure we deliver the best service at the best price for our ratepayers. And I want to salute their efforts uh, supporting us at every step. I loved it when you thanked the ratepayers, because uh, the ratepayers are paying a lot. Uh, in addition to what the ratepayers are contributing, they're contributing again uh, through their taxes. Um, and in this year's budget, we were able to protect uh, the commitment that the city government uh, makes to this project as well. We're going to improve the quality of life for Washingtonians in this generation and in the next. Um, and that is really our responsibility as stewards of this city. We also have the opportunity to benefit residents of the District of Columbia who need good paying jobs and need to learn uh, life sustaining skills like the work that will happen right here on this project and then the remainder of a, what, what do we have, a four billion dollar project as part of our Clean Rivers Initiative. Uh, when Lucy completes her work in 2016, the tunnel will provide nine million gallons of stormwater storage during intense rains. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of water, nine million gallons. And we need to do it. Number one, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do for the neighbors. Um, so I'm, I'm very pleased that we have two representatives of the Bloomingdale neighborhood here today. It's the right thing to do for them. It's also the right thing to do for our city. Uh, long term, this project, as well as the longer, the larger term Clean Rivers project, will improve water quality uh, for, for us and our children and our grandchildren. There's no question that the neighborhood will benefit from solving a flooding problem that dates back a century, but there's also no question that the neighborhood has faced a challenge of construction at really a remarkable scale. We are doing our best to work with the neighborhood to minimize this disruption, but there is no way to dig and change giant sewer systems without going in the streets where the sewers themselves exist. But we want to acknowledge the tremendous support, feedback, that we get from the neighborhood and pledge that we will continue to do everything we can to minimize this disruption until we can get this project finished by next year, just about this time. George talked about how difficult this project has been in the community. DC Water has done an exceptional job in terms of community outreach, but also in terms of trying to work with the community on mitigating matters. All of our problems haven't been solved. There will be more. I'll be calling these two guys, and perhaps even George at times, to continue to try to work through the bumps as we face them. And we'll get it done. Today, I'm thankful to see Lucy, I'm, because we're on a new horizon. We're moving a step closer to easing not only my fears, but all of the fears of every one of us in Bloomingdale, the Drake Park. And when Lucy gets dropped 170 feet down uh, and gets fired up to begin the next phase of the tunnel project, some of us will be able to rest easier knowing that very soon the constant threat of flooding and the construction will be uh, a very distant memory. 